Good morning and welcome to Sunday School Simplified. If you haven't joined us before, this is where we take our Sunday School lesson and squeeze it in to a short, sweet video that is good for all ages and the entire family. Today is Mother's Day, so first and foremost, I want to wish all moms a happy Mother's Day um, and honor you. We see you, we love you, we appreciate you, even dog moms, cat moms, um, dads who are pulling double duty. There are so many of you out there and we love you all. So we have been doing a series called Dare to Dance Again and this week the theme is by this we will know the dance of love and I feel like it's such a fitting one this week love because the ultimate love is a mother's love right I mean there's a reason why there are so many mentions of it in the bible in how we describe God's love as a mother hen, as a mother to her child. It's because it's the love that when we say it, we know that is the ultimate love. It's the best, closest way that we can describe God's love for us um, as a mother's love. And every week we have talked about a different dreamer because we dare you to not only dance again, but dance with the dreamers. Um, it's hope and promise and joy. And Jesus, I feel like, is the ultimate dreamer in that he dreamt of a world where everyone treated each other with kindness and love and care and respect. And our dreamer this week is Greta Thunberg. You may or may not know her. She is not a day older, over 19, I think. She is still a teenager, and it's hard to believe that she has been living and carrying out her dream for years now as a climate activist. And I asked the kids, okay, when you get sick, who takes care of you? Usually the answer is mom or dad. And I said, okay, but who takes care of mom and dad when they're sick? Well, that kind of stopped everybody and made them have to think about it for a second because contrary to myth and legend, moms and dads actually do get sick. We just don't have the time usually to take care of ourselves even. Um, and Greta is taking care of the mother that we all have and hopefully know and love in Mother Earth. She had a dream and it, you know, not all dreams are wonderful and fluffy and magical, but a rather scary one where she saw what was going on in our lives on our earth um, and that if she didn't make a big statement and share this dream, albeit scary, that something not good would be coming very soon. And as scary as it was, she shared that dream, but something really crazy and cool happened in that sharing that dream she found others that shared that dream with her. And she has made actual change in making governments and large companies pledge their commitment to this climate change. It's actually, it's not even no longer, it's no longer climate change. It is a climate crisis. We have to act now and continue to act. Um, and she has made real change and something beautiful come out of this somewhat scary and overwhelming thing. And I encourage the kids that if you have a dream that's not the warmest and fuzziest, but rather scary, don't be afraid to share it with others 
And if it seems too scary to share it with others, even at first, there's always someone that you can share it with. And that is God. He's always there for us. That unwavering, undying love, much like a mother's love. And will always be there to listen to our dreams. Good, bad, scary, overwhelming. And we can look to people like Greta. Like you could say, oh, I'm too young. Oh, I'm too old. Oh, I don't have, like she, nobody knew who she was before she became who she is. You're never too young. You're never too old. You are never too unknown to make real change. And in that change that she's it's showing not only her love for our planet, but she's getting other people to not be afraid to share their love for our planet. Because you might think, oh, well, it's not going to affect me. Well, really, it is. It's affecting all of us. But it's affecting our children and their children. Like, it's not our children's children's children. It's now and it's the next generation. It's here. Um, and there are two scripture verses this week that we touched from, if you wanted to follow along. It's from John chapter, excuse me, 10, verses 11 through 17, and it's the story of the good shepherd, Jesus being that shepherd, and we are his sheep. And the second reading is from John's first letter, um, chapter 3, verse 16 through 18. And the second one is one we all, I think, have heard in some form or another. And it's, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth or action. And it fits so well with our dreamer in that we can say we love the planet and we can say that we love Jesus, but if we don't line up our actions with our words, it ultimately becomes meaningless. Um... I don't know if any of you are old enough watching, uh, are old enough to know uh, the Grateful Dead, but the drummer from the Grateful Dead, Mickey Hart, wrote, to fall in love is to fall in rhythm. And this ties everything in. I know you probably didn't think we were going to get there, but we're here. To fall in love is to fall in rhythm. And I feel like that is a direct um, mention, nod to John 316 in that if our actions don't line up with those words that we say, we're out of sync. We're not in line. And what a beautiful thing it is to say, not only say what we mean, but mean what we say in that we will do what we say and mean what we do. That is love. That is the ultimate expression of love. So to fall in love is to fall in rhythm. And we all know that you need rhythm to dance. It doesn't have to be good rhythm, but you got to have some kind of rhythm in order to dance. That is Sunday School Simplified for this week. If you are a mom, I pray that you get some peace and rest today or sometime this week. And if you are not yet a mom, but you have one, I pray that you grant her, even if it's a few moments of peace and rest this week or today. Thanks for joining us. And I hope to see you again next week. May you all have a healthy and safe and happy week.